Here in Mexico, the shrimp trawl fishermen are pleased. A new kind of trawl is improving their catch. The trawls are designed to reduce bycatch, which is typically swept up by poorly selective conventional shrimp trawls. Less bycatch means less time sorting through the shrimp catch. And the shrimps are not crushed, so the quality improves, which means the value of the catch increases. Guillemas is one of the major shrimp producing cities of northern Mexico and shrimp fishing is the most significant Mexican fishery in terms of both foreign exchange and employment. Mexico catches nearly 67,000 metric tons of wild shrimp a year. Without the new trawls, this could bring in 10 times that amount in bycatch, of which half would be commercial. Bycatch may be defined as anything the fisherman does not intend to catch, including juveniles of commercially valuable species and biologically important species. Traditionally, Mexican fishermen shovel unmarketable bycatch over the side. The lost catch is known as discards, that part of the catch that is released or returned to the sea, either dead or alive. Approximately 7.3 million tons of fish are discarded worldwide every year. That's just over 8% of global capture production. But this will soon be a thing of the past in Mexico, thanks to the use of bycatch reduction devices, or BRDs, on board the shrimp trawls. Bycatch reduction devices effectively is any modification to a fishing gear to reduce the amount of bycatch. There are two different types. One works on a simple physical sorting of the catch in terms of size. It will either exclude the larger species or it will exclude the smaller ones. The other type of bycatch reduction device is based on the behavior of the fish. Some fish have the intelligence or they can respond to the visual stimuli of being able to see that there is a window of escape in the net. There are several kinds of BRDs. Those that exclude turtles are called turtle excluder devices or TEDs. Those designed to exclude fish include juvenile and trash excluder devices or JTEDs, fish eyes, and square mesh. In Mexico, they use trawls with TEDs. A simple grid placed in the trawl allows the turtles to swim out, but not the valuable shrimp. Shrimp don't respond to visual stimuli. Um, they don't have directional control when they're swimming. So the point is they can't escape from that type of bycatch reduction device. The great thing about TEDs is that they can also be used with fish BRDs. This is good news for the small-scale fishermen, whose catch used to be swept up by the traditional trawls. BRDs protect their catch. A trawler will catch 50 to 100 kilograms of shrimp, but may also catch 100 to 300 kilograms of red snapper with an average weight of about 150 grams, which is not commercial. It's basically killed and thrown overboard. But if you let them grow to 1 kilogram or 1.5 kilograms, we will probably be talking about an even more profitable species. For example, 
In a good year, if they got nine tons of shrimp, they would have thrown away 50 tons of other more commercial species, which potentially could have represented more benefits than the nine tons of shrimp. If properly trained, fishermen find the BRDs effective and easy to use. It is essential to rig the device properly. Once installed, it is straightforward and drastically cuts the amount of bycatch caught. Eh, con with the new excluder installed, we can get up to 70% reduction in bycatch. I believe we should spread the word about these devices. The authorities should tell the fishermen about these devices and make them compulsory. After all, they're species we don't want. So why do we want them on board if we can let them go? After all, many of those fish we're going to need later. This can't come too soon for the small-scale fishermen. A reduction in their catch forces some of them to fish illegally outside the proper season. But the authorities take enforcement of protected fishing areas seriously. It ensures that the regulations are followed. And it is working. It's not like before when we only had to pay a fine and then we would be released. Now they send you to prison and take all your equipment. The good news is that already there is a positive change in the catch. These officials from the National Institute of Fisheries aboard the Don Raul observe specimens of the right age and size. Monitoring the catch helps to assess whether bycatch management measures are working. Shrimp catches are healthy and bycatch is reduced with the increased use of BRDs. This is good news for the Mexican shrimpers, as there is a growing demand for sustainable fisheries. In fact, TEDs are legal requirements for some markets, such as the United States. There is growing concern about the state of the world's seas. 52% of the global stocks of marine fish are fully exploited and 25% are either overexploited, depleted or recovering from depletion. Oscar Valdez is concerned for the future. We need to know what the actual state of the seas and the fisheries is to find out if they are overexploited. We have to look into new and different resources developed by scientific research. It's not only Mexicans who are seeing the impacts of overfishing. Typhoon season in Calbayog City in the Philippines. This city started life almost 300 years ago as a tiny village. It now has a population of more than 160,000 people, many of them very poor. Over a third lives on less than $2 a day. They, like all Filipinos, rely on fish for more than half of their protein. Our population has doubled, tripled already. There are more people now in the sea trying to catch a fish. In the late 1980s, our catch was averaging about 36,000 metric tons. And uh, in the 1990s, it went down to about 29,000 metric tons. It was very alarming. And uh, the marginal fishermen were complaining about their catch. Marginal fishermen are the local inshore fishers. To deal with their declining catch, the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources is experimenting with BRDs. This one, known as a JTED, or Juvenile and Trash Excluder Device, helps juvenile and tiny adult fish escape the trawl, allowing them to grow to a more valuable size. 
we believe that the issue of bycatch in Southeast Asia is more focused on the catching of juveniles because this really affects the sustainability of, uh, of our fishery resources. So we have uh, focused on the JTEDs and uh, we have already assessed in uh, some of our uh, trials and experiments. We already are almost certain that this is efficient and uh, practicable to be used. The trial of new technologies on a few boats allows authorities to assess their suitability before rolling them out on a large scale. Success hinges on involving industry. Training allows the deckhands to use them properly. The grid is horizontal and this device used to reduce the cuts of uh, juvenile feces and other trash fees. The juveniles can go out and the commercial feces go to the bug of the troll net. But the trials have exposed a problem. There is tension among the fishermen. The use of BRDs cuts their income. This is because in the Philippines, the bycatch is retained and sold. There is a market for it. The less desirable species are sold locally. As for the rest, the low-value so-called trash fish, they're used as feed in the local fish farm. Trash fish are fish that have a low commercial value by virtue of their poor quality, small size or low consumer preference. They are used for human consumption or fed to livestock and fish. Although of low economic value, these fish, which include juveniles, are vital to the ecosystem. In recent years, sales of trash fish to fish farms have brought the deckhands as much as one third of their income from the catch. Globally, retained bycatch in shrimp fisheries could be as much as 20 million tonnes, 10 times higher than the amount of shrimp caught. BRDs drastically reduce this amount, but at the same time, if fishermen usually sell the bycatch, this cuts their income in the short term. There is a big difference. Before, when we were not using the devices, there would be a great amount of reject fish compared to now. This creates resistance to using BRDs. A survey of the local fishery is vital to determine what problems could arise from the use of BRDs and if the fishery retains bycatch. These fishermen earn very, very small amounts of money. So they have very little incentive to use a bycatch reduction device because using a bycatch reduction device will actually cut their, cut their salaries, cut their income. So if they're not going to use BRDs, even if there are regulations saying that they should be using BRDs, those regulations would be almost unenforceable. Clearly, pure enforcement does not deal with the underlying problem of a reduced income. Other approaches can work in tandem with bycatch reduction devices as part of a wider programme, such as closed areas, closed seasons, restricted entry and vessel monitoring systems. Incentives can also form part of the whole package. In this case, Rodolfo of the Rudy Boy trawler compensates the crew himself to keep them happy. Otherwise, he would have trouble convincing them to use a BRD. It's worth it to Rodolfo. It means a better quality catch, less time sorting the catch, access to new markets and reduced operating costs. Not all fishing companies will be willing to compensate the crew. But clearly, by collaborating with industry, joint solutions can be found. Teamwork and creating partnerships are essential to success. We talk about bycatch reduction devices and we talk about fishing technology, and perhaps we think that we're dealing with a technical problem. But in fact, 
we're looking at, at a social problem and an economic problem because the reasons that so much bycatch is being caught is to meet the needs of the poor people. So in that case, we come back to um, some of the, the big issues like uh, good governance, equity, uh, social justice. In some countries like Mexico, bycatch is not wanted and BRDs are welcome. In other countries like the Philippines, bycatch is wanted. Here, the use of BRDs has to be part of a wider programme to reduce effort, including closed seasons, closed areas and restricted entry. Taking these issues into account when raising awareness of the problem of bycatch should create a positive environment to affect change in fishing practices. Because of using the BRD, our income is smaller. Sometimes we don't even have enough to buy food and to support our family needs. But we are looking forward to the future, to the situation changing. Those small fish that have escaped from our nets will be caught by us again in the future when they are bigger. People have experimented reaching the moon, but we don't invest so much to our marine resources, which is just here, and we use it every day. And uh, if people were able to experiment, spend so much money in trying to reach the moon, why not spend money also in experimenting to ensure uh, sustainability of our food supply in the years to come? Thank you.